I'm Celine Wise supporting for Kids First. Today, I have the pleasure to speak with Tim Federley, Sailor Bell, and Adrian Lyles about High School Musical, The Musical, The Series, Season 3, which debuts on Disney Plus July 23rd, 2022. Tim Federley is the creator, showrunner, and executive producer of the series, and also serves as executive producer of the animated musical Foster. He won the Humanitas Prize for co-writing the animated feature Ferdinand, is the author of the novel Better Nate Than Ever and its award-winning sequel. Sailor Bell is an actress known for her performance in New Girl, Criminal Minds, and I Didn't Do It. She plays Maddox in the series. Adrian Lyles writes, performs, and produces songs. He released his first self-entitled EP at age 13 and is best known for his singles, Average and Shower Thoughts, which are on all streaming platforms. He plays Jet in the series. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome Hi. to the show, Sailor and Adrian. Thanks. <laughs> So, Sailor, I love watching the interactions and closeness between the Wildcats. Do you have any stories about working with your fellow cast members on or off camera? <laughs> oh, sure. I have many stories that I can't fit into five minutes. Um, I think mostly just like remember the best times is just like when we all were sitting down in our cast chairs, just like chilling out ordering acai bowls like um and just like talking hanging out uh most of us are really big like theater nerds and like grew up well, like with theater and broadway so we would like play music or even like <laughs> in the car like driving places we would meet up a lot as cast members just like outside hanging out and matt would give me a ride a lot because like i didn't have my own car then um, and we would just play Dear Evan Hansen, like in the car ride the entire way to or from like hanging out with everyone. So those are definitely like my favorite moments with the cast off screen for sure. <laughs> so memorable. Oh yeah. <laughs> Adrian, there is so much great stuff that takes place in terms of Jet's camp experience. Right. What is your favorite scene that Jet is in? Well, there, one of my favorite scenes is, no spoilers, a scene that hasn't gone out yet, but I'd say from the ones that have been shot so far, uh, I absolutely loved the singing audition scene that Jet did because it, he was pushed into a place where he didn't want to go, he didn't want to be there, Dewey forced him to go, and then singing in front of everybody, and then sort of, I think what it really was for Jet was this sort of glimpse of hope. So it was him seeing this thing that he loved so much. He was doing it again for the first time in a long time. And I think that was really fun to portray and really fun to just do for everybody. That was one of my favorite scenes as well. I'm glad. <laughs> so Sailor, it seems that kids can come to camp with one mindset and might leave with another. What do you think affected Maddox the most from her camp experience? Easily just these wild cats showing up and being a part of this camp that she knows and loves and has been to for like nine plus years. Uh, she, I think, has maybe almost like gone and left the same most years, but this year it's like she is in this almost new place that she doesn't know with these new people who she's never met and is trying so hard to like get to know them and be friends with them because this is her happy place but she like struggles a lot with it but because of that and because of like trying to grow these relationships she almost evolves into this different person um which yeah leads her to leave as this completely new person which I think is like a big step for Maddox um so I would say that like yeah that mainly the other characters and the wild cats are what really change her this season I appreciate that yeah Adrian what have you learned about being on set or in this role 
you know, I've learned so much. This has actually been one of my first acting experiences. And so being surrounded by these veterans that have been doing this for forever is honestly a learning experience inside of itself. You see this switch from, you know, I'm having a good time and I'm really enjoying my time here to this like professionalism that they just, they ensue and it changes it all. It, it shows that look at these people really truly become somebody else. And I think that that's one of the biggest things that I learned that with acting, you really just have to feel it out. And I, I honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better learning experience than what I was given. That's so great. You have such an extensive background working with young people. I really love that you cast real teenagers for this show. How does that affect production and managing the series? Well, with production, it means that you're working around um, school schedules. So they're running back to the trailer to do homework. Um, uh, it also means that their hours are limited on set because of minor work laws. And so oftentimes you can't shoot outside at night or uh, you can only do that one night a week until maybe 1 or 2 a.m. Um, so there's some challenges. But the opportunity there, I think, is casting somebody real and authentic who really represents the age of the audience, which is something I think the audience really responds to. I definitely feel a bigger connection to the characters knowing that they're real teens. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> so, this series has a lot of positivity with characters supporting each other on their journeys and the concept that we're still all in this together. How did you create an environment with the cast to convey this concept as the series and the characters continue to further develop? Um, well, I'm a former theater kid. And so I've done everything from be the understudy to be the dancing tree to helping out in the wings. And I know that uh, even if you're the star who gets the final bow, we're all just people and we all put our pants on one leg at a time. And so it felt really important to me to have a cast and an environment that embraced the idea that there's no divas and there's no real celebrities and we all just act like humans. And, uh, and the cast has really embraced that. And on their breaks, you know, Sophia Wiley puts down her phone and she's playing like word games with Sailor Bell Curta. And they act like real teenagers because that's who they are. And that was a really important thing for me so that it, it didn't become an environment of uh, pettiness or jealousy or people being mean to each other. I love that. So... The musical format continues to be a central part of the series. What can you share with us about what to expect in terms of music and the original songs in season, th season three? Well, I think we have some of our best original songs ever. Joshua Bassett's written a song in the first episode that I absolutely love and feels like a real summer bop. Adrian Lyles is a brand new vocalist on the show this season. He's 17 years old from Dallas, and he's got a song that I think is going to break the internet. Um, Frankie and Dara team up for a, a, a song that's a classic cover that I think um, fans are going to go crazy for. And uh, Julia Lester sings a new song at the piano that I'm giving so much away, but you're such a good reporter that you're like pulling it out of me. <laughs> um, it's a lot of really good music this season and, and, and it's really joyful. And it scratches at the nostalgia itch of Camp Rock and High School Musical 3 and the new Disney vibes of Frozen, along with these brand new songs that I hope the audience goes crazy for. I 100% agree. In fact, I actually went crazy for the songs. Did you watch the first three? Yes. Did you like them? I love them. Do you like the fun vibe? Definitely. Should it I was keep a really the, good summer bop. Should I keep the fun vibe going in season four? Would you vote for that? A hundred percent. Okay, good to know. Thank you. With a fist wave. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Tim Federley, for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you about so much. I'm oh, sorry, you're not done. <laughs> Keep going. About season three of High School Musical, the musical, the series. You totally... I really, <laughs> I really enjoyed hearing your insight into the creativity and production behind this hit show. Can I talk? Yes. You did a really great job today. And I was very pleased to meet you. Great job. Thank you. Me as well. Thanks for watching.
I'm Celine Weiss reporting for Kids First. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss my next interview or review and those of our many other talented Kids First reporters. Catch you next time. Bye now.